guys, it's your boy Anomaly from Sweden and Counter-Strike 2 The Limited Beta is now out and in Counter-Strike 2, if you weren't aware, if you look down, you can see your own feet. So, of course, I have to make a video rating every single agent model and their feet. But before then, I want to thank today's video sponsor, which is Skins Bunky. They're a trading site for CSGO skins, and it's just as simple as that. It's a good way to change up your loadout easily every so often to play with some new skins. And they've got a 30% deposit bonus, and if you use the link in the description or put the code ANOMALY, you get another 5% for a total 35% deposit bonus. If you're making your first trade, you can also use code ANOMALY and get up to $5 for free. They We've also got a freebies tab for giveaways which you can join for free so if you want to try them out then please use the link in the description and thank you skins monkey once again for sponsoring this video let me just accept this huge trade offer of every single uh, agent skin in the game holy shit this is really human trafficking pov now on this account i have every single agent skin that you can have every single agent and let's take a look at their feet <laughs> not weird at all starting off from the top left we have doctor Dr. Romanov. Now I'm Dr. Romanov and my feet look like this. Okay, that's pretty nice. I like the coat that you can see. It. The pants look pretty comfy. I'd rate this a solid 6 out of 10. Looks pretty nice. Next one is Sir Bloody Miami Daryl. Now I'm Miami Daryl and looking down Ooh, okay. Pretty dapper. Nice dress pants and dress shoes looking very good. I'd say this is also a 6 out of 10. Looks pretty dapper. Next agent Lieutenant Commander Rixaw. So Lieutenant Commander Rixaw, his feet looks like this. Okay, nice red shoelaces, nice dark urban camo pants. I'd say this has to be an 8 out of 10. This looks really good, especially fitting with a ruby. Next one is Arno the Overgrown. So Arno, his feet looks like this. Okay, like the pants, don't like the shoes very much. This, this is a 4 out of 10 because of the shoes. I'm sorry, Arno. Next one, Lieutenant Rex Crikey. So Lieutenant Rex his feet look like this. Okay. I'm sorry. Look at the pants. They're kind of dirty on the back there. Green. Quite boring. Uh, shoes not cool. This is a 2 out of 10. This is ass. Next one. Sir Bloody Daryl Royale. So, Sir Bloody Daryl Royale. His shoes and pants look like this. Oi. Very nice color on the pants. Kind of low-key shoes. I would say. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't have a torso, apparently. If I if I walk like this. What the fuck do you see? <laughs> Anyways. Sir Bloody Bloody Daryl Royale, I'd say this. Also an 8 out of 10. Looks really nice. Next one, Aspirant Grandamir National. Now, his feet look like this. Pretty boring, just your average armor. I'd give this a 4 out of 10. After that, we have Jungle Rebel, and he looks like this. Very basic, 2 out of 10. Very ass. After that, we have John Van Heelen Cask, and his feet look like this. Uh. Also the same here, not very sticking out, just very muted colors. 3 out of 10. After that, we've got Sergeant Bombzone on SWAT. I'm just realizing I'm making a full fucking feature-length film looking at feet. <laughs> Okay, his feet looks like this. Oy. Also not that cool. Also, what the fuck is that clown shoe? Do you see? <laughs> One out of ten. He's wearing clown shoes. After that, we've got two-time McCoy. Two-time McCoy looks like this. Okay, this green is a bit nicer than the other ones, though. I'd say this a six out of ten. Easily. Next one, First Lieutenant Farlow. Now, her feet looks like this. Okay. Once again, not that cool. Colors kinda bad. I'd say this is a uh, 3 out of 10. After that, Crasswater the Forgotten. His feet look like this. Oi, what the f- this is a long ass rope. I would say, compared to his torso, which is really cool, his legs, not that cool. This is a 2 out of 10. After that, Commander Frank Wet Socks Barood. And he looks like this. Oh my god, it's so skinny. What the f- do you see his legs are so skinny? <laughs> what the f- what? Also, why does he have a piece of beef jerky in his pocket? Do you see? This is very goofy. I'd say this is a 1 out of 10. Way too skinny. Next one, Chem House Specialist. Now, the Chem House Specialist looks like this. Pretty much the same as all the other ones. Also, look at the extra gas mask he has here in his pocket. In first person, it's cut in half. That does not look good. 0 out of 10. Next one, Dragomir Saber Foot Soldier. And he looks like this. Uh, pretty basic, but it does look very comfortable. 
comfortable 5 out of 10. Next one, medium rare crass water. And he looks like this. Once again, legs doesn't live up to the torso. I'd say this is a 3 out of 10. Next one, Kem has Capitan. And he looks like this. Ooh, okay. This looks similar to the other one. I think they may have just reused the same legs. 4 out of 10, nothing special. Next one, Sir Bloody Loudmouth Daryl. And he looks like this. Oi! Oh, shit! Okay, that's really nice. You see, white pants, dress pants, nice white leather shoes with some snake skin over here. Oosh, that's really nice. This is a 10 out of 10. I have to say it. This is a 10 out of 10. Holy shit, this is nice. <laughs> Next one, D Squadron Officer. And he looks like this. Very basic, I would say. I don't like this too much. Two out of ten. After that, Little Kev. And Lil Kev looks like this. Also very clean. Doesn't fit together as well as the white ones. But I'd say this is an eight out of ten. This is very nice. After that, Colonel Mangus Dabisi. What the fuck? And Mr. Dabisi looks like this. I torso much cooler than the legs. 3 out of 10 is the best I can do. Officer Jackies Beltram. Mr. Beltram looks like this. Okay, once again, not the coolest colors or so. This is a 3 out of 10 as well. After that, Primeiro Tenante, the Brazilian agent. And Mr. Caralho looks like this. Sadly, his legs are not as cool as his torso. I'd say this is a 3 out of 10. I'm sorry. <laughs> Next one, Bloody Daryl the Strapped. And Mr. Strap looks like this. Hmm, okay. A little sad. I would have wanted to see some of this, like, Versace a pattern and snake skin on his boots. Sadly, we don't. This is a 7 out of 10. It looks clean, but it could have been so much better. Next one, Sus Lieutenant Medic, Amogus. And Mr. Sus looks like this. This is also just copy-pasted. Doesn't look cool. 3 out of 10, max. Next up, Sir Bloody Skullhead, Daryl. And Mr. Skullhead looks like this. Okay. Once again, not the cleanest combo. 7 out of 10. Looks good, don't get me wrong, but... Nothing lives up to that white combo. After that, we've got Street Soldier Phoenix. And he looks like this. Oi, wait, hold on. That looks really cool. Oi, yeah, this is nice. Look, urban red camo on the pants, along with a red knife and the red on the gloves. 8.5 out of 10. Next one, Sir Bloody Silent Daryl. Also the only agent who has a silver watch. And he looks like this. Okay, also very clean. Not as clean as the full white one, but this is still an 8 out of 10. 10 easily. Next one, Bio has Specialist. And he looks like this. Uh, once again, the, the gas mask is cut in half. Goofy uh, boots. I'd say this. 4 out of 10. Next one, everyone's favorite, number K. Now, Mr. K looks like this. Okay. They look comfy, the pants, but I'd have to give this an 8 out of 10, because it's nice, but it's not that outstanding. Next one, Rezan the red shirt. Now, Mr. Rezan looks like this. Ui, this is very basic. This is a 2 out of 10. Next one, Osiris. Now, Mr. Osiris looks like this. Okay. I see the, the shoelaces, red, red boots. Okay. I'd say this is 4 out of 10. The pants kind of drag the score down because they're so dirty. Next one, third commando company, KSK. And Mr. KSK looks like this, the German agent. I like the camo on the pants. I'm not going to lie, but the shoes are not the best. I'd have to give this a 5 out of 10. Next up, B Squadron Officer, SAS. He looks like this. Once again, nice camo, but the boots are not that special. 4 out of 10. Ground Rebel Elite Crew. I think this one's going to be very basic. Yeah, I don't really like it. However, the boots do fit really well with the shirt and schmar. But feet rating alone, I'd have to give this like a 3 out of 10. After that, we have SEAL Team 6 Soldier. And he looks like this. Very basic once again. This is a 2 out of 10, maybe 3. After that, we have Rezan the Ready. I really like this one, so I hope this one looks nice. Well, let's see. Oh no, this is fucking ass. His pants look like a bowl of oatmeal. Bro, what the f- No! Rating the sleeves, this is a really good skin, but... But the, the legs included, 1 out of 10. Marcus Delro. Mr. Marcus looks like this. Once again, ultra basic. I like his shoes though. Looks a little bit like Air Max 97 with that line maybe. I don't know. Pretty cool, I'd say. Shoes are pretty cool, but pants are absolute shit, I'd say. 2 out of 10. Next one, Buckshot. Now, Mr. Kumshot looks like this. Very green, very basic. 2 out of 10. After that, Professor Shamat. And Professor Shamat looks like... oh. 
Oh, bro. They could have had that, this camo from his smar. It would look so cool. But yet, they just have jeans and shitty boots. Ay, ay, ay. Two out of ten. Operator FBI SWAT. Now, he looks like this. Once again, ultra basic. Nothing special. This is a one out of ten. Next one, Slingshot Phoenix. This one fits very well with Slingshot gloves. Sadly, I don't have it. But, okay. I like this a lot. Nice design on the pants there. Very nice camo on the pants as well. Boots are nothing special, but they kind of tie it all together. This, 9 out of 10. Really, really nice pants. Look at here as well. Yeah, you have the slingshot-like logo here. Oosh, this very nice. Next one, the elite Mr. Mullick. And he looks like this. Oh, this is so sad. This looks like shit. This is a 1 out of 10. Next one, Black Wolf Saber. Mr. Black Wolf looks like this. Okay, you see a bit of his jacket, but the shoes and pants are very bad. This is a 3 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Mr. Bond, I've been expecting you. <laughs> Next one, Enforcer. Now, the Enforcer looks like... Ooh, okay, these pants are really nice. Not as nice as the Slingshot guy, but I'd say this has to be an easy 7 out of 10, maybe even 8. After that, we have Soldier Phoenix, and he looks like this. Okay, not the worst pants, but once again, not the coolest one. This is uh, 6 out of 10. No, 5 out of 10. Next one, Michael Cyphers. Okay, and Mr. Michael Myers' pants look like this. Once again, Disappointment, 2 out of 10. After that, Maximus Saber, and he looks like this. Once again, huge disappointment. One out of ten. Two times McCoy. This is such a stupid fucking video idea. Mr. Two times looks like this. Not the coolest, just a regular CT pant and leg. I'd say three out of ten. After that, Dragomir Saber Foot Soldier, and he looks like this. Looks comfortable, but I don't like the clown shoes. This is a three out of ten. Now, getting into the ladies, we've got Special Agent Ava, and now her legs look like this. Pretty basic jeans, basic pants. <laughs> Smells like fish. I'd say this one is a 3 out of 10. Nothing special. Next one, Commander Davida Gogels Fernandez. The longest fucking name ever. And now she looks like this. Okay, once again, the super skinny legs. You can't- oh my god, it looks like she has a tail. You see that? Because it's like the fin. The fin that's hanging here in the back. Looks a little bit weird, but yeah, I'd say pretty decent and looks pretty different to the other ones. I'd say this, a 7 out of 10. Next one, Lieutenant Tree hugger Forlo. Now, she looks like this, okay? Very heavy, very, like, green camo. If you have, like, a Boreal Forest loadout, this could look pretty good, but as it is, this is a 4 out of 10. After that, we've got Safecracker Voltsman, the professionals, and now she looks like this. Ooh, okay. Looks like the Bloody Daryl skins, but this one has this nice, like, uh, deep brown red maroon color. Looks pretty cool. I don't even know if that's maroon. I don't even know if it's a color. I like the detail that it has the green thing where the shoelaces go through and it's pretty well put together I'd say this is a 8 out of 10 after that elite trapper Solomon and he looks like this Oi, he's got his toes out <sighs> what the fuck is this do you see what <laughs> <laughs> Look, that looks so bad. It looks like his feet are made of clay. I like it because, you know, he's got the sandals on and it looks cool. But the design on the on the feet, no, this is... If you just look at it like this, yeah, it's pretty good. I'd give this like an 8 out of 10. But if you zoom in on the, the feet, I would say this is an easy like 1 out of 10. It looks ass. Next one, Viper Sister of the Revolution. And now she looks like this. Uh, pretty basic, dirty pants. No really cool shoes. I'd say this is probably a 3 out of 10. After that, Getaway Sally, and she looks like this. Similar to the Daryl skins, but this looks like it's made out of, like, felt. Like, what your grandma would give you that really itches. This... Sh uh. I'd say, just because of that pattern, this is a... 5 out of 10. Next one, Trapper Guerrilla Warfare. She looks like uh, this. Okay, she's got her feet out. <laughs> Now, once again, the feet are not very detailed. This at least looks a bit better than the Solomon guy. But yeah, I'd say this one then is more well put together than the other one. Just because the sandals, the no socks, the nice cargos, 8 out of 10. You wear this in game and you look down, you're guaranteed to feel comfortable. Next up, Chef Descargo Rukard. And Mrs. Rukard looks like this. Just about the same as the other CT, like, heavy legs. Nothing special, some body armor and, you know, the fucking skateboard 
covers. I'd say this is like a, a 6 out of 10. Next one, Trapper Aggressor. Has a one big titty. I mean, a f very nice personality. And she looks like this. Also got her feet out. Uh, pants look a little worse than the other one. I'd say then this one is a 7 out of 10. And second to last, Commander May Dead Cold. And she looks like this. And her shoes and legs look like this. Nothing special. Also, what the fuck? Do you see that bag is cut in half? I don't like that. Just because of that bag being cut in half, it puts it down two points or so. So this is like a three out of ten. And finally, the last agent skin that exists right now, Blueberry's Buckshot. And Mr. Blueberry Buckshot looks like this. And in my opinion, you know, the sleeves are very vibrant and blue. The pants, not so much, which is a little sad, but I still really like the camo. I'd have to put this at an 8.5 out of 10. And if you look at him like this, his like upper pants are as blue as his sleeves. So maybe they're gonna update it, make it a little bit more blue. But as it looks right now, it looks kind of bad. So, thank you for watching. This was every single feat in Counter-Strike 2, and we reviewed all of them, we smelled some of them, and I would say it's pretty good. I'm not sure really why they added so you can see your legs, but now that it's a feature, yeah, I guess we'll have to live with it. So, thank you for watching this stupid ass video. Probably way too long for this joke of a video. <laughs> so, thank you for watching, and now I'm going to go sniff some real feet. <laughs> yeah, yeet. Next one, the sus- <sighs>